Hello and welcome. Cos squared x plus sine squared x is identically equal to 1. Let's try to make an attempt to, to actually prove it. The first proof, uh, proof number 1, uh, many of us might have seen uh, this particular proof. It's not actually a proper proof because uh, you have to assume that for this particular proof that x is a quantity which is between 0 and and pi over 2. So if you're working in degrees, it's uh, really an acute angle. Okay, um, this particular one is basically based on Pythagoras' theorem. You draw a right angle triangle and you're going to label one of its acute angles as x. It doesn't really matter which one. Let's say we call this particular angle as x and then we label the three sides in whatever way we want, like an ABC kind of scenario. So there's my A, there's my B and there's my C. So quite clearly by the Pythagorean relationship, A squared plus C squared must be equal to B squared in this, for this particular triangle. Okay, if we divide in this particular um, equation by B squared, what we're trying to do is to create the one on the right hand side. So A squared divided by B squared plus C squared divided by B squared is equal to, of course, b squared divided by b squared. So I'm going to do a little bit of a tidy. So a over b all squared, that's this quantity here, plus c over b all squared is equal to 1. So if we look carefully in our particular triangle now and see what is that a over b in this particular case, as far as this angle x is concerned, this is the opposite divided by the hypotenuse. So that's in fact the sine of x. That's what this quantity is all squared plus c divided by b, that's the adjacent divided by the hypotenuse, so the c over b is in fact your cos of x, all squared is equal to 1, and therefore we just actually proven that sine squared of x plus cos squared of x is always equal to 1 so long as your x is an acute angle, okay? Uh, is this proof uh, good? Um, it's a start, is uh, what I would have to say, and often in A-level exams, uh, they, do, they do not necessarily accept this as a proof for the general result, but they will say, prove that this result holds if x is between 0 and pi over 2, and this is the way to do it. It's not that difficult. It makes perfect sense. Okay, so let's look now at a more involved and proper method of actually proving this particular identity. So that's method 2. Okay, uh, this I did mention in another lecture of mine, a former student of mine that did, uh, did read maths at Cambridge, he was asked this particular question in his uh, interview. I can't remember for which college it was though. Okay, in order to prove this, you define a function and you say, you know what, f of x, I define it to be as the function cos squared x plus sine squared x. Then I'm going to differentiate it. So f dash of x, using differentiation rules, and now I'm not going to be showing a lot of workings. Anybody who is, who's, will be able to follow this is differentiation and other skills must be tip-top. Therefore, this will differentiate to minus 2 cos x sine x plus 2 sine x cos x. So that's, I just merely differentiated this line. And if you look carefully at what just happened in there, these two things cancel each other. So in fact, f dash of x is equal to 0. So that means this particular function has a zero differential, which is independent of x. In other words, its gradient is always zero. What does that mean? Well, what it means simply is that your f of x is in fact a constant. It's a constant function, okay? So if you think about it on what does it look like on the, on the xy plane, uh, maybe something like that. And how high is this? What is the equation of this uh, particular um, a line. Uh, maybe it's 4, maybe it's 5, maybe it's at the bottom, maybe it's minus 3. I don't know what, what it is, uh, but we need to find it. What we know is that this function, if you plot it, it will look like that. That's why it has zero gradient. So it suffices to just substitute. Since it's, since it's constant, it doesn't really matter whether we're substituting 0, we'll get the same height. Whether we're substituting 1, it will take the same height and so on. So we're going to substitute a convenient value like f of 0, and we're going to get, of course, cos squared of 0 plus the sine squared of 0, which of course is equal to 1 squared 
plus 0 squared, which of course is equal to 1. And therefore, this constant value is 1, and therefore, f of x is equal to sine squared, actually, I've written it the other way around, sine squared plus cos, because I wrote it there in, uh, in reverse order, f of x, which is equal to sine squared x plus cos squared x, we just found it, in fact, equal to the constant function equal to 1, and these two results now yield the desired identity, cos squared x plus sine squared x is equal to 1. Okay, is there another way we can perhaps prove this result in general? Because, of course, this result now works for any x. It is not angles. It's actually x can be any input. Okay, there's a method 3. This is a lot quicker and a lot more clinical uh, than the one you just saw. And it involves complex numbers. Okay, we're going to start as follows. e to the i x times e to the minus i x is, of course, is equal to e to the 0, which, of course, is equal to 1. No problem. So what is e to the i x? Well, quite clearly, by Euler's formula, that's going to be cos x plus i sine x. And what is e to the minus i x? Well, again, that's very simple. It's cos x minus i sine x. And of course, we know that times that, that's that, and that's that, should be equal to 1. Okay, all we need to do is just multiply these brackets out. And these are, of course, uh, I'm not going to show workings for this, it's just a difference of squares. You're going to get a cos squared minus i squared sine squared of x is equal to 1. And of course, the i squared on the next line will switch the minus into a plus, and the result follows. That is quite efficient, isn't it? Okay, I hope you learned. I hope you enjoyed this particular lecture. I will see you very soon. Bye for now. Signing out.